Good morning and happy Mother's Day. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a quick tabletop. I just got this ghost uh, accessory kit uh, delivered by FedEx. I had to order it off Harbor Freight. I wasn't available in my um, area at the stores and it actually said it was back ordered till May or I'm sorry um, no May the 22nd but I got it um, I think uh, on the 6th so go over it real quick here I wanted to show you guys and I also had a question for some of you that may be knowledgeable more knowledgeable on the Predator actual engine builds but um, going through it here i'm gonna go through the kind of simple stuff here's your your different tubings they give you a really heavy duty muffler clamp here some regular hose clamps some clear vinyl tubing i wanted to show you this t bracket um for your muffler support this thing is very thick very heavy i mean it's it's you know pretty pretty heavy duty there um, aluminum intake you know nothing fancy uh, looks kind of you know it's got some molding lines doesn't look real refined or finished um, the machining on it doesn't look too bad um, you know it looks deburred and everything the air filter you know looks a little better quality than maybe what you would get off Amazon I guess that's to be you know to be seen i know those uh, some of those small ones with the metal cap there the cap comes off tends to fall off a lot um header pipe pretty heavy duty it seems kind of heavy it's uh looks good thick gauge metal um it's got uh looks like a little tig weld there doesn't look too bad uh the muffler is basically just an expansion pipe with uh, a front mesh and a rear mesh screen to baffle the sound. Um, the pulse pump uh, is non-magnetic, although I'm not sure if it is pure aluminum. It looks more, I thought it was pot metal to, to begin with, but it looks more like, um, I don't know if it's an owl mag, and I'm not even sure if pot metal is magnetic. I'll be honest with you, I've not work too much with pop metal um, i've worked with harpo i've worked with cold road i've worked with stainless galvanized um uh, high speed i mean but uh, i've never done anything with uh or really owl mag i just know really owl mag some of the older mag wheels uh, uh on you know some of the muscle cars back in the day um were made of an aluminum magnesium mix so uh I think uh, Chris over at KFF basically said you can't run methanol through this. Um, I don't plan on doing any methanol. Uh, this is my question, though. I'm, you know, I, I'm new to I heart go karts, but, you know, I'm kind of a novice when it comes to engine building. I've maybe took some governors out and put a cam in one, you know, just kind of getting into the game. Um, and, uh, <sighs> I'm not really seeing anybody. The couple of videos I've seen on these accessory kits, it's like the there's kind of like a pink ele an elephant in the room. It's like, uh, well, what's when the ghosts come out? The accessory kit was kind of like, well, nobody said anything about that. Now the accessory kit's out, nobody's saying anything about this head gasket. So what I wanted to do was, I, I'm not sure why they give you the head gasket, but I will. These are some old six dollar calipers here. I'm gonna mic this. I'm getting point zero four zero, which would be forty thousandths. Okay, forty thousandths of an inch. It's not on millimeters. So I'm not sure of what the nominal thickness of a regular Predator head gasket is. And if you anyone can maybe explain why 
they give you that. Is it to change out for a flat top piston? Is it to change from a Hemi head to a non-Hemi head? Um, I'm not sure. It doesn't really explain to you here in the uh, instructions. I took that out and read it, and 90% of that is like um, safety and non-liability print. So basically telling you not to hurt yourself with their product. So that's my quick review. I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I try to get to you. Uh, if you know anything about this head gasket, uh, Kentucky Fried Fixings, wink, wink, uh, let me know. Or any other guys that are knowledgeable about building the motors. Um, and uh, thank you. And I got uh, another video probably trying to do today uh, for the update on the Odyssey. So uh, have a great day. Happy Mother's Day. And uh, we'll see you again.